all right by request here you guys go here is the install for the this is a 2002 chevy bolt ev with no adaptive cruise this is a one lt um people are wanting to know how to install it how to do everything here's how you remove this housing if you're if you're driving the ev basically let's pull down and stick your fingernail in there and just pop that down yours might be hooked back here a little bit more but once you pop that down just kind of pull it down and if you see right inside here those little tabs push that little tab over and down like pull on this while you push that up push that tab to the side pull it down boom and this will just pop right off the biggest pain in the ass that little white tab right there getting that little white tab out because that'll be up here in this camera and you have to pull that little white tab right there forward and when you push that forward you'll see right here i can get that on there that little black tab you push that little black tab down and this will pull out the easiest thing i can say to do for this right there on the edges those little tiny tabs bend those out to the side cut those off whatever you want to do it's up to you but i just bent mine to the side and then it'll allow you to move that little switch and then once you remove that little switch then you push that little black one pop that right out once you get that popped out <clears throat> you're just going to plug that into your harness for your comma and if you want you can push your little tab back in or remove that tab i'm thinking about just cutting mine out like i said um so you connect that once you connect that you're going to have a matching one on the other side of your harness and this mirror is in my way that will go inside there then you have your relay connected to your power. And so what I do to get all this back in here, because you're done, that's it. That's all you gotta do. Um, the Bolt EUV was a little bit tighter, but this one, as you can see, has a lot more room to it. So what I do is I just left my relay like out here like this in the open. And see these little grooves up here you can actually take your wire and stick it up in that and that'll give it a place to kind of rest i'm gonna wrap this oh. i should have done that before so i'm gonna wrap this around like that no yeah actually i will and then plug this in kind of like i said stick that up there in that little groove and then now all you got is this sticking out right here as you can see the wire sticking out right here i put this back on here make sure that wire is just routed right through that center opening and put the line up your housing push on the back and slide it forward lock it all into place and as you can see here's everything now and now you can just take your wire and tuck it back in that big opening. There's a big opening back there. Back in there. And 
know, I'd like to leave my relay just sitting out like this. And then I can stick it right here or something or up here in the window. Um, I don't want it to be trapped in there and getting hot from, because like inside of this gets hot from that window and being just got kind of sandwiched between there. So I'm going to leave it out here so it has kind of room to breathe with the AC and everything. And then just keep that wire, keep everything right here against this little post. And then just take your little, take your little things right here, line those up in those little holes. That snaps back on there. And your install is complete. Um, if you wanted to do this, as you can see this, when this was open, just take this uh, harness, not the harness, but take this right here and just go, the relay and go ahead and stick it inside that little pocket because as you can see if I can, um, I don't know if I can zoom in on that. But back here, this is all hollow right here. So there's plenty of opening for this. And you can stick that down inside back there and then just have your USB-C coming out only. And that's what I do. I let my USB-C, but I'm gonna, like I said, leave this out here to breathe. I'm gonna stick it in here. You don't even see that when the mirror's up there. Well, once it's stuck up here, you won't see it. And that's all there is to it. It's hooked up, ready to go. Hope this helped people. Um, if you got any questions, let me know. Um, I might actually go ahead and reinstall this with that inside there. So you guys can see that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and do that for you guys. As you can see, it is that quick and simple just to get it all apart. And I don't even know why I took it off. I just needed to put this relay back here. But see, let's take your relay. Uh, see, I used I had a sticky pad right there. You can just take your relay, stick your relay in there. Let's see what the wires all ran up here. The relay stuck up against the window, and it's literally a perfect groove inside there for it run the USB-C up here so that it's just pointing up. Place this. There we go. Get all the wiring on there. And as you can see, the USB is running through that. Snap everything into place. And now you see my USB-C wire is running out here. Take a little piece. Place that in there, bam. And just like that, see? USB-C is the only thing sticking out. Everything else is inside there. Plug in your comma three. Mount it in the window. go all done you can tuck your wire up there if you want to get a little more out of the way but yeah hope that helps anybody